Hello there, I'm Nigel Mill. Welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. Last episode, I went through the entire... this thing. <laughs> All of it. Uh, I beat at some mini-bosses, I went through some Evergals, I don't know how to complete this NPC quest. I went through some ruins. I went at uh, these bosses here. This one gave me the most trouble. And now, in this episode, hopefully I will go to the other Lord. So, a uh, demigod. That's what they're called. So, this is pointing me in this direction. So, I'm guessing it is in this island. So, here we go. New adventure! Away! Oh no, it's gonna be on the ground. Oh, never mind. It's gonna be up. Aha. Uh -huh. Great. A boss already. Sonic Repool is not functional. Is there gonna be a boss already? In here? Castle Morn. Hey, wait a moment. This one was... an NPC quest also. Right? I mean... You know, there was an NPC quest telling me to go here in Castle Morn, but I don't remember who said it. <laughs> How did you get there? Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Nice! That song bitch almost hit me. Almost. Ooh. I gotta awaken a lot of these bastards. Yep. Exactly. Woo! Man, that thing has a lot of rage. That bitch has a lot of rage. Okay. Well, I did it. The thing... Again. Uh, the thing that I mentioned earlier in one of my episodes. The Crimson Tears do not refresh. Is that an NPC or someone did? <laughs> uh, what I was about to say is that the... The Crimson Tears, the Cerulean Tears, they don't refresh. Uh, inside a castle. A demigod castle. But... There are a lot of sites of graces everywhere, so... You know, that balances things a little bit. Bitch. Fire grease. Okay. Poor people. The hollows. Tarnished, whatever they are. Okay. I have that way to go to, and the other way, which has a uh, big boy. Who do you think I'll go to? 
this one, obviously. Flawless victory! Sanctuary stone. Heh! <laughs> nice. What is this? Smithing stone. Also nice. But it's just a one, so that's not nice. In the back! I bamboozled you! How do you feel about that? Big boy? Ah. Okay. Well, this way keeps continuing. Okay, I'll... Um, I'm gonna go the other route and see... with my eyes. I'm tired. Aha. Uh -huh. A treasure chest. That is probably gonna teleport me away to somewhere else that I do not want to be teleported in. Awesome. Please don't be a trap. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, this uh, Mom! Oh, oh, we the great, sword. the great sword, the OG. Oh, two stabs. Yeah, that's nice. Finally, a, a stab attack. Oh my goodness, is this a stomp? Lion's claw. Right. What the hell is this? Artorius? Artorius blade? Oh my goddess. Oh, that's gonna be my new favorite weapon too. Man, what about double handing it? Whoa. 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 Oh, yes. Yes, please and thank you. Oh my god, that looks so awesome. I can do... The Artorius uh, Blade Plunge. I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh yeah, I am. Oh yes, I am. And I finally have a thrust attack with the fucking thing. With a... Okay. Thrust! Yeah, that's how I was doing it. See, I, I want to increase my endurance so that I can wield these while having fast movements. That is my ultimate goal. The ultimate goal. Ah. So nice. Okay. Seems like I cannot do anything from down here. Meh. <laughs> the great sword plus the bastard sword. Oh. That's a that's a that, that's a combo right there. That's a combo. You guys are not doing any damage whatsoever. Ah, now you're doing damage, huh? Woo! Artorius! Going to the ground, courtesy of Artorius. <laughs> let me let me take a closer look. A skill of the 
Red Mains, who fought alongside General Radan. So, is Radan Artorius? <laughs> Somersault forward, striking foes with armament. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah. Huh. I mean, don't get me wrong, the medium... The medium, uh... Load is not that bad. It's really not that bad. But... I want to have the best of the best of the best movement while dishing out extreme firepower. So yeah. I want the light load with these two weapons on my side. <laughs> awesome. Steel wire torch. I don't really need it. I don't really need it, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Let go! They keep going! Where was the other way, by the way? The... What the heck? Ah, they're fighting over there. Okay, so, there was another way... ...from the bottom. There was a ladder that led to somewhere... ...and some such. Am I correct? Am I correct? Ah, it probably is from there. Right? If I see a tree... Aha! Yeah. That's where I, uh... Could go up another way. An alternate route. Geronimo! Ha! I landed in a soft spot. You jest! You jest if you think you can best me in a sword battle. Or a club battle. Eh. A close quarters battle. God damn it. Okay. Because, uh, you know, I don't think I explained this before, but uh, this thing that I'm doing right now, uh, whoop, that thing is called power stancing. That one, that mechanic was in Dark Souls 2. It was in Dark Souls 3, although to specific weapons. In Dark Souls 2, it was more implemented, and now it is implemented again in Elden Ring, which I love because uh, in the past, I used two great swords, and yes, I mean the ultra great swords in Dark Souls 2. That, that character that I have has a mighty wallop. <laughs> Obviously. That character of mine in Dark Souls 2 is not fast at all, but they hit hard as fuck. Yes, stab. Woo. Stabby. Ow. Gotcha! <laughs> I have my ways. I have my ways. Holy shit. I have a whole bunch of arrows stuck to me. That's never good. Golden rune. Uh huh. I still think that this place is a little bit small. 
I haven't seen any sights of grace yet. So... Aha! Interessante! And this one goes to... I don't know where that one goes. Okay, let me explore a little bit here first. Okay. Ah, shiny and deliciously welcoming. But I am gonna go to these parts, these places, before I do anything rash. Like I said, I don't like one-way trips. I don't like it. came from behind? Okay, fair enough. I'll come from the front. <laughs> Man, I love these power stance weapons. I love them. And they can hit vertically. I mean, like so. They cannot do a strong jump attack. Which is fine. I just want this. <laughs> That's all I want. Oh. You. Ah, uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. He's dead. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Uh. But whatever you've come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this by way of apology. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, Irina, the the girl that was on the highway thing. Ah, so you are her father. I see. From Irina. Yeah. Thank you. I'm in your debt, but I can't leave yet. Why? Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. Uh huh. So I must. Snatch this sword from under you and relieve you of your responsibilities. If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. You know, I have a inkling, a sinking feeling that you'll fulfill your duty very, 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 very soon. With my help, obviously. Okay. What will I get here? Aha. That's the Sight of Grace. But like I said, I don't like commitments. And this seems like a pretty big commitment right about now. So, I'm going the other way. The other side. The, uh, where the other ladders were. If I can remember where they were, of course. Aha! Right here. Yep! He goes! Here goes me! Man! A lot of people suicided themselves. A lot. Ooh! Well, well, well! Ah, 
That's probably the other area of, uh, close to the site of Grace. Probably. Ah! You bamboozled me! You shall pay in the installments! Okay, smithing stone, nice. Man, whoop! Yeah, whoop. <laughs> the claymore, awesome. I mean, this weapon is pretty cool, and it does some vertical slashes like this, which is very helpful. But the claymore has thrusting slashes, which is awesome. Oh, uh, well, I have a bit of both, right? Because I have both weapons on my freaking back. So, I guess I have the best of both worlds. Nice. The bad thing is, I would have the best of the three worlds if I could, you know, move lightly. And that's going to take some serious... Serious, serious point allocations into my character. That's going to need a lot of endurance. A lot. A lot of it. Oh yeah, and I can't parry when I'm like this, so... That's another minus, but hey. That's fine by me. If I can have super power... I don't need to parry. Okay. I'm down here. I sense a beetle right on the my nose. Aha. Commitment. I'm afraid of commitment. <coughs> As always. Mm. The hell? The hell is that? Ah, slimes. I hope. Uh huh. Ah, uh, hello? Okay. Hey! Whoa! You bastard! Oh yeah! And these things, uh, you know, power stancing takes a lot of stamina <laughs> to use. So, eh. Yes. Oh. Oh man. Aside from the noble's petty babbling. Ah. Uh, I kind of feel for the uh, these guys. I kind of do. Noble, commoner, peasant, or whatnot, it don't matter. Cannibalism is never a good thing. Okay. I'm going to that site of grace now. Uh, all the enemies respawned, which is great. But I was trying to go here next. Swordstone key! Nice. Um. Yep. All the enemies from above respawn, so that's why I meant. That's why I meant. That's not good. Are you scared of something? What are you scared of? Ah. 
I don't know what they're scared of, but all right. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a gazebo down below. Yeah. There's a gazebo. Woo! Okay. You're one of those. Thrust in both your hearts, even though you only have one, probably. I love power stancing. I freaking love it. Absolutely adore it. It's a shame he wasn't further expanded from Dark Souls 2, but... It's a welcome change. That's all I'm gonna say. I thought there was gonna be a slime. Twin Blade Talisman! Does that increase the dexterity or something? Enhances final hit of chain attacks. Right. The, uh, one, two, three. That. The chain attack at the end. And two. One, two, and then three. That's the chain attack it, it means. No, I didn't. I didn't want to do that. No, sorry. Did not want to do that. Here we go. Huh. Where is that slime? Huh. It probably dropped down. Ah, dang it. I was planning to do a little something-something with it. Ah, there it is! <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker! Ah, it's just this one? Ah. Well, that's not... Well, that's not good. I was planning to make both of them, you know, on fire. Uh, it would have been so cool if that was the case. From above! <laughs> it's dead. It's very, very dead. The Scarab and the Ball, both are dead. <laughs> super. Super duper. Okay. Tarnished Golden Sunflower. Okay. That's... That's a material that I've never seen before. Okay. This thing. Oh, I have seen it before. But not in the form of these things in loot okay that was a little bit underwhelming you know I can't coat two of them at the same time which is pretty it's a it's a bummer <laughs> it's really a bummer oh jellyfish my favorite. You get it. Here we go. I like commitment. I really like him. I think. <laughs> I think I do. Ah, here's the thing. I gotta go all the way up. Anyways, because there is no way up. There are no stairs, there are no ladders, so... Uh, I would have gotten to Irina, and I would have gotten the weapon that uh, Irina's father told me about. And then I was gonna snatch that weapon from under him, and then... Everybody would be cool, because he wouldn't have any more responsibilities to take care of. And blah 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 blah. Two for one? Yes! Woo-yahoo! 
<laughs> Did you like that? A whip! Whoopa! <laughs> nice! I don't know if the whips are freaking porcaria in this game too. Let me let me check. Because in Dark Souls 3, ugh. The good thing about the whip was. Uh, whoop. Uh, oh, eh. It's still the same animation. Okay. Okay, it's fine, I guess. I think it's a little bit faster than before, I think. But, eh, I never liked whips in the first place. I mean, in a Castlevania game, yes. Because those whips are super overpowered, but... In a Dark Souls universe, not really. Hey, a side of grace. Nice! Okay. I've been power stancing for a while now, and uh, I think it's time to go back <laughs> to my normal load. Because, like I said, I like my uh, speedy thing. Am I going to fall into the abyss at some point? Or no? Aye! Aye! That's right. Throwing dagger. Oh, and I got a little ladder over there if I want it. Okay. Uh um. I'm gonna go down. See what kind of enemies are here, and then I'll go straight to the boss. Which I'm probably gonna die in a lot of times. Oh, yeah, and those jellyfish are... Friendly. The red ones are the problem. <laughs> Smithing stone. Nice. I can't call torrent. No, I cannot. Oh, crabs. Yes. Ow. You scared me. You almost did. <laughs> but I knew as soon as I saw crabs, there was going to be a big mama. Ah, fire arrow. Okay. Right. Man, I think I'm going crazy. I think this is gonna be the last episode. <laughs> or maybe the other episode is gonna be the last episode for tonight, I think. Because, whoo! I'm starting to sound very crazy. I'm kinda... Sleepy, if you haven't noticed. Okay. Let me go over here and go to the site of... What am I doing? I should have fast traveled. Whatever. I could have fast traveled, I'm just saying. By the way, this... This castle seems a lot... The stage of it is a lot easier than Stormvale Castle by leagues. A whole lot of leads. It's a lot easier. Blip. Okay. Lead me to success. Oh, sweet baby boy. Any summon signs? 
Yes. Who are you? Castellan Eggert. Okay. If you want to fight with me. Ah, oh, fuck. Did I? Did I? Ah, oh, yeah. Woo. I marked it down. Nice. Hey, Edgar. Good to have you. Leon Misgrotic. <laughs> okay. You fuck, you fuck, you fuck. <laughs> Hi -yo! This is not the boss. This is definitely not the boss. No way. No way. Give me the real boss. Grafted Blade Greatsword. Give me the real boss. That's it? Man, all this... All this traveling to here? And this is the boss you give me? Really? Man, this... Wow. I mean, this was not... This was not a lord, right? <laughs> no way is it a lord. Right? By the way, I got a Colossal Greysword. Oh! Oh, I can wield it with both hands. Oh, oh, oh. How, how does the the power stance look like with two great swords? <laughs> deadly. Very deadly. But, uh... Okay, 40 strength. It doesn't look like a ultra great sword, but okay. Bang! And then one bang. Okay, got it. Bang. Bang. Oh, that's new. That's a new animation. What does this do? Uh, oath of Vengeance. Swear on an oath upon the great sword of vengeance. Avenge the clan. Temporary raising all attributes for a certain duration while the oath effects are active. Poise will also be increased. Ah, huh, okay. I can't do it because I don't have any mana. FP. Okay. This better not be the... Uh, the, uh, the Lord boss, because this... This did not represent a boss whatsoever. He was a normal enemy. A completely normal... Not special enemy at all. I mean, he did a little bit of howling here and there, but that's about it. Is that it? Really? Yeah... You know, I'm a little, I'm a little bit disappointed. Just a tiny bit. A little bit. Because I thought this was gonna be like a castle, like in Stormvale. Stormvale was more extensive, it had two bosses, and it had cutscenes. So, why is Castle Morn? Whatever, this is probably a, a, a major kind of side quest or something because there is absolutely no freaking way, no way, <laughs> that this was 
meant to be a story boss. None whatsoever. Okay, I'm going back to uh, Edgar, or whatever his name is. Okay, I am here. Was this the Colossal's great sword that you had protected? I'm in your debt. Yes. For keeping the sword from those fallen creatures. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm no longer bound by duty. Yeah. Once I've rescued Arena, I will spend my remaining days with her. That's nice. Thanks to you, I will be reunited with Arena and devote my remaining days to her. Arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains intact. Hey, you can always go to the round table, you know, I would love to see you two there. Thanks to you, and devote my arena as I only hope. Yeah, I would, I would love to see both of you there. Let's see, Irina was... Uh, uh, here. Yes. There. I think... I think. Yep. Oh no. Irina. Oh no. Irina. How could this be? My daughter deserved better. The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done. Oh man. I'll find them. the foul. I'll hunt them. Rest assured. So Irina dies. Man, this is a. Uh, this is dark. Just like Dark Souls. It's a very dark world. And no, it's not Irina of Katerin. It's just Irina. So. Uh, Man, that sucks. <sighs> oh well. Now that this is over with. Next episode. I'm gonna go. Uh, here. In these areas. Yes. I'm gonna go in those areas over there, in uh, Lierna, Lierna Lakes. There's a Evergal here. There's a a cave, another cave. This I will hold on to it. This is where Nefeli Lu is. So I will hold on to it for now. Then there's this, I don't know what to do here, but I think it's a puzzle of some sorts. There's a boss there. <laughs> there's a boss there that I need to go to access this area, which it gives me probably another remembrance or something. By the way, do I have any more remembrances? I have a gold seed. No. So, that was not a story boss. Obviously, it was not a story boss. But, uh... Damn it. The arena died. But, uh... You know, I'm starting to think that this game... Does not have... Like... Memorable, memorable... Bosses. Like really big 
bosses that do not replicate everywhere else. You know, like Vort of the Boreal Valley, Dancer of the Boreal Valley, Eudix Gondir, Champion Gondir, uh, the Grave, the Grave Tree, the Testicle Tree. The, the all those bosses they cannot be replicated anywhere else but in this game there's just a lot of bosses that are normal uncommon enemies so they've uh, they've just been upgraded a little bit but they feel not memorable at all I mean Godric the Grafted was unique and Margit Margit was unique because those two were story bosses but I completed the whole limb grave now and I haven't seen another boss except that Polkaria one that I just stun locked with my summons easily so I don't know if the main, 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 main bosses are separated by continent, I mean areas. Like, Limgrave, there is only one story main boss. In Kaelid, there's only one main boss. And in Lyrna, only one. And then in the underground, I don't know what the hell is here. <laughs> because I haven't explored it. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, my back hurts, so... I'm gonna end it here. I thought... I thought I was gonna meet a main boss over here, but I was wrong. I think, oh, okay, I think what separates the main bosses from the <laughs> uh, mini bosses is the towers, these things, those things, that thing. If I see one tower, that means there's one boss there, main boss. I think that's what it means, because after I defeat the boss, I need to go to a tower to rekindle its lost grace. So, what I'm getting by this is that there's two main bosses left for now. Which is exactly what I mean by there's not enough memorable bosses in this game. That's what I mean by it. Because, sure, there's a lot of bosses in the open world aspect, but the story aspect is kind of letting me down. I'm not gonna lie, it's letting me down. At this point, I would have faced bosses in Dark Souls 3 until, let's say... until the the great tree or the crystal sage or the cathedral deacons of the deep you know at this point I should have been there if I translated Elden Ring to Dark Souls 3 and all of those bosses are unique and they're all of those bosses are main bosses so, I don't know. I mean, the game Elden Ring is still fun, but it's kind of letting me down on the story bosses departments. So, there it is. Before, uh, before I fall asleep more, I'm going to end it here on the next episode. I would probably have explored this area and left 
the whatever the hell is in here with the fires with in an episode I will leave it for an episode that's what I meant oh there's another tower here ah so this is also a main boss okay okay oh now I'm starting to get it but uh, since some of my markers have been alleviated, <laughs> I'm gonna go to explore this area over here, because I haven't explored it yet. And obviously I'm gonna explore down here, and get the fires going. On the next episode, I don't know if I'll start here or a Leorna. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you on the next one.